yeah, it's, it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Okay. So according to the Bureau of Prison Statistics um, from last month, 38.3% of our current inmate population is black. But according to the 2020 census data, only 122 of our national population is black. So if you don't believe in white privilege, how do you explain this disparity? So why are they in jail? It has been this way for years, um, since the 90s. No, no, since wh wh why, do, why do people go to jail? Why are black people in jail at higher rates than white people? That's the question, right? Maybe because yes. they commit more crimes than white people. But that's not true. <laughs> it actually is. They do. So it, every independent analysis shows that blacks have committed a disproportionate amount of crime. No one wants to say it out loud, but it's true. In fact, in New York, 52% of murders are committed by blacks, 40 plus percent of arson, 60 plus percent of drug deals. And so the question you should really be asking is what drives them to commit crimes? That's the question, right? The real question is, and maybe I can ask you, what percentage of blacks are raised with two parents in the home? So actually, according to the Uniform Crime Report for 2019, black or African-American individuals committed only about one million crimes, while white people committed about four million yeah, crimes. So, yeah, but, but yeah, that's but hold proportion. On. Yeah, how about proportion. the proportion? There's a lot more white people than black people in 60, the United it's States. It's a 60% white country and a 14% black country. So you just proved my point. You literally, so, so basically, that's a disproportionate amount of crime. It is. I, but listen, I want to say, look, you are coming up here and you're asking a question, and that's not easy to do, first and foremost, no matter what. And I really appreciate your question in front of all these people. It's hard. So thank you for asking your question. But let me point out what you, what you just did, and you didn't know that you did it. You switched from proportion to raw numbers. That's right. And you did that to make a point that you thought you were making, but you weren't. But look, your issue was that black Americans only make up 13% of the population, and yet they make up, I think you said, like 38% of the prison population. And then you, yes, you switch yeah, to raw numbers because, so black people only make up 13% of the population, but they commit 40% of all homicides and 60% of all violent crime. Unfortunately, I don't think that's anything inherent in black Americans. That's not what I'm saying. That's just the fact. And what Charlie is saying is, look, we've got to look at why that is. So you're claiming that that disparity is inherent proof of discrimination. So would you also say the fact that there are fewer Asians in jail means that than white people, that there is discrimination against white people? No. Disparity isn't proof of discrimination is what I'm so, trying to say. Yeah. So let me just throw, and Ali's exactly right. What percentage of blacks grow up with two parents in the home? No. Yeah, less than 20 percent. That's why there's so many blacks committing crimes and they're in jail. It's that simple. The death of the black family is why blacks are in jail higher than their population percentage. It's that simple. May I see your criminology degree? Do you have uh, one? Uh, I'm sorry. No, wait. We've got a, we've got a, are you we, a we biologist? From an Brown Jackson. So, but no, but let, me, let, let me ask you a question. So, um, so do I need a criminology degree to be able to understand that 75% of blacks don't grow up with two parents? To be well-versed well in it, I believe so. Do, okay. you do you have one? I don't, but I'm studying it Okay, right but now. you oh, she exactly. studied it. Mm -hmm. But you did the same thing. Um, you looked at a statistic, and he did the same thing. You look, don't have a criminology have degree, taken neither a criminology does he. Course? Have Hold on a that? second. You're doing an argument from authority, okay? It's a fallacy. So mm -hmm. the laws of physics don't change whether or not you're a physicist, okay? The law of thermodynamics doesn't change whether or not you take a course on it. Answer the question. Why... Do blacks have a broken family versus a nuclear family, and does that translate to higher rates of crime? Do you admit that? Why is it that blacks don't have parents, though? Why? Good question. We subsidize single motherhood in this country to the federal government of the United States. Great question. Now we're getting somewhere. Back in the 1960s, we put forward a program where black women married the government and broke up with the men they were with. Welfare state, Lyndon Baines Johnson, and that has contributed to blacks committing more crimes. I believe institutionalized racism is your answer, but I don't believe I'm getting anywhere oh, but, with y'all. So. But no, just, just let me say, just let me point something out. Did you know that it's not white Americans that have the lowest incarceration rate or the lowest rates of crime or the highest graduation rates or the highest median income? It's not white Americans. It's Asian Americans. They have the highest median income. They have the highest graduation rates. They have the most degrees. They have the lowest incarceration rates. And guess what? They also have the lowest single parenthood rates. Okay? So that is true across the board. It's not 
just black Americans. And unless you are willing to say that the reason why Asian Americans make more than white Americans or the reason why Asian Americans go to jail less than white Americans is because there is systemic institutional racism against white people in this country, then your argument against black people doesn't really work. So let me ask you one thing. You said institutional racism. I got a black friend right up here. He's great. What, what can, he's great. So let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you a question. What can I do that he can't do? What do you mean? If, if, if institutional racism was real, what can I do that he can't do? Well, you're less likely to get arrested. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, if we both commit a crime, he's going to get arrested and I'm not? He could. What, wait, so we just went through this. Blacks commit a disproportionate amount of crime, of crime in this country because of broken families. So give me one law on the books. You said it's institutional. Families. Give me a law anywhere that discriminates against blacks. Give me one law anywhere in America. You want current or past? How about right now? Well, the fact that crack cocaine is criminalized more than regular cocaine. No, no. If I, if, I, if, I deal, if I deal crack cocaine, I'm getting arrested regardless of skin color. Give me a, give but if me a you were law. white cocaine, you would... You're Give me a law anywhere a that allows white people to, to commit crimes and get away with it and blacks can't. Does that law exist? Not anymore. But because there's no institutional real. racism in America. The idea of institutional real. racism is laws on the books. Just because it's not down on paper doesn't mean it's not real. Okay, give us an example. Not God. just a disparity. Not just a God? disparity. God isn't, you don't see God. He's on paper. Read the Bible. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm getting nowhere with y'all, and y'all are not answering my questions, so I'm going to end this Q&A right here. Thank you for your time. <laughs>